this is number 40 on the NMAT sample exam. So we have four resistors that are connected in the circuit as shown in the figure. What is the current that is flowing in this one? So first you have to know the formulas for the series and the parallel circuits for the total resistance, their um, properties in terms of current and voltage. And of course, the main formula, which is V is equal to IR, the Ohm's law. So first, let's compute for the resistance in this area. So let's have clean. What is the total resistance in this area? So we have 1 over R is equal to 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 1. And that is 2 over 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 2 over 2 or simply 5 over 2. So our total resistance is the reciprocal of this one, and that is 2 over 5. That is the total resistance of the green part. So I'll just put letter G, T, G for the green part. So that is 2 over 5. Now, let's compute for the total resistance of the series. So this one. Okay. So if we know already that this has a total of 2 over 5. Let's add it. The total resistance there is 2 plus 2 over 5 or simply 2 and 2, 5, a mixed number. Let's multiply add for an improper number. That would be 10, 10 plus 2, 12 over 5. Okay. Or simply 2 point that will be 2.4. Yeah, obvious. Now, for our total current that is flowing in a circuit, we will use maybe black to compute for that. For a total current, for our total current in the circuit, we have I is equal to V over the total resistance. Now, please remember I got this from the Ohm's law formula. I is equal to V over R. So that would be 3.6 divided by 2.4, or simply 36. We can move the decimal point here. We can move the decimal point here so that we're not dealing with decimal point, decimal point anymore. So we will have 36 divided by, this is three times, or maybe this is, hmm, what's 36? Four. 4 times 9, and this is 4 times 6. We can cancel this. If we can still cancel this, this would be 3 times 3, and this is 3 times 2. Yeah, we can cancel this. This is 3 over 2, or simply 1.5 amperes. Therefore, the current that is flowing here is 1.5 amperes. The current that is flowing here is 1.5 amperes. And the total current that is flowing here is 1.5 amperes. How about the voltage? For the voltage, we have 3.6 here. But the voltage here can be computed if we divide, if we multiply I and R. So the voltage here is 1.5 times 2, so we have 3 volts. Therefore, if this is 3 volts, this circuit is experiencing 3 volts. This whole green circuit is only experiencing volts that is 0 0.6. How did I know that? Because we only have 3.6. 3 went here, so 0 0.6 went to this green part. So I will just write it again. We have here a circuit with 1.0 ohms, a circuit with 2 ohms, and with another 1.0 ohms. 2.0 ohms. 
this has a voltage that is 0 0.6, a total voltage, and a total current of 1.5 amperes. Now, the question is, what is the current experienced by the RY? And to get that, the current is V divided by R. This is the V, 0 0.6 divided by 2. The I is 0 0.3 amperes. So this is the answer. 